Sadly, recent data from Australia's Institute of Health and Welfare has shown that more than 500 children died across a three-year period of injuries caused by accidents in their own home. Of these, almost half of them are aged under four. Young children are most vulnerable in our community and that's why we decided we wanted to create something to protect them and make a difference in our world. We had initially thought about creating something that would prevent children from drowning in their backyard pools. However, while we were working on the project, we had heard the devastating news that a one-year-old boy lost his life after being run over by a car in his driveway. Seeing this news story made us realise that young children are active, curious and cannot physically be watched 24 hours a day. We began brainstorming ways that a parent could be notified if a child was to leave their house and started thinking about designing a bracelet that would trigger a door alarm. We looked at a range of door alarms that can be triggered when someone walked through. We found a passive infrared sensor and contact sensors. However, this would be activated when anyone walked through, not just the child wearing the bracelet. We then started thinking about security alarms in shops. We found out that these systems use a radio frequency identification or RFID tags and readers. The reader is a transmitter that sits at the back of the shop exit and emits a radio wave which then bounces off people as they walk past and reflects back. If someone is walking out with an item with an RFID tag, the tag will catch an incoming radio wave and sends it back with a unique identifier to tell the computer system which item has been detected. We took this model and applied it to our concept of a safelet, where the door sensor holds the RFID reader and the child's bracelet will contain an RFID tag. We began looking for ways to simulate the RFID reader and tag system and came across a PicoDev RFID module which could be used with any micro bit and any RFID tag. Coding was difficult, but we were able to follow a tutorial that we found using Thony, a text-based coding language. We have also created a mock-up of an app that could be used to send a notification to the door RFID reader has sensed the child's RFID tag. This would become a part of the smart home system, which would then be expanded to include sensors in other areas of the house. For example, a cupboard containing medicines or poison. Having shown our prototype to a number of parents, the feedback is that this system would help them feel more at ease in their stressful day to lives. So this would make a significant difference in their, to their well-being. In line with our Catholic values, we believe that the safelet will provide a way for human dignity and common good to be achieved.